Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I will show you how to declare the yearly data set in time series in Stata. Let us check for the data, the format. Um, share the screen. Um, this is the data format. You can see the data in by year, the price of beef, chicken, and lamb are given. And the year start from 1960 and it ended in 2023. So before doing any analysis in time series in Stata, we need to declare that this data set is a um, yearly data set. Uh, that format is yearly. So let me close this one. And let us go back to our original screen. This in here, our time variable is year. So we need to write this TS set year. This is a time variable. And this is yearly data. So it is yearly. So you can see from here, our times, our year started from 1960, ended in 2023. And delta one means delta is one year means there is no gap from 1960 to 2023. So this is a time, time series data now. And we can do analysis. For example, we can make a graph, TS line, let's say yearly price of beef we want to see. Let me share the screen. We have this the, the, this the graph we just created from 1960 to 2023, the price of beef every year. Now, if the data are in quarterly format, let's say this data are given by every quarter of the year. For example, uh, this data set now, I'm sh sharing the screen. Um, So now the data set in quarterly format. For example, the first quarter, second quarter, and third quarter, fourth quarter, 1971 to uh, our last year is here, um, 1978. So we need to declare this data set. There's a quarterly format of data and the price of beef, chicken, and lamb are given. So before doing an analysis, and there's a little trick here. Uh, we cannot say simply that, okay, uh, year, year, you know, we, we cannot do that. So we need to declare. In this case, we have to do a little command we need to write, a little trick. So our data started from 1971 first quarter, and we need to declare, we need to create a variable, a new variable, and we need to declare that this is a quarterly variable. So our new variable name is time one. Generate time one. TQ means time is quarterly. This Q is for quarterly. And our variable, our series started from 1971. Now, if your series started from any year, please write that one. Our, our series start from quarter one. If your series start from quarter two, you can write quarter two. And there's the command. And after, let's say, I highlight this two, this one. Uh, and then I click on execute button. Let's go back to our original screen. What happened to see? You see this one? There's a new variable time one has been created by our command. This is the command we wrote in to file. We execute this command and new variable has created. And now, now let's check how is this new variable now? How it looks like? So let us go to our edit mode and the screen, this one, yes. You see, time one is a new variable. We need to declare that this is a quarter later. We did not, we, we have not declared yet, but just see this one. So we have created a new variable. And we are going to declare now this is a time variable and it is in quarterly format. So let's go to our do file here. And just like previous one, like when you wrote yearly data, TS set year yearly, here we have to do the same thing. TS set time one. Time one is our new variable and it is quarterly. Let's execute this command and then let's see now what happens to our uh, new variable. Now you see the new variable is in quarterly, quarter one, quarter two, quarter three. So in this way, and we can create a, we can declare if it is a quarterly variable, quarterly data series in time series in Stata, we can declare that this is a quarterly uh, format data set in time series.